not waver in our commitment to see that justice is done for this terrible act. And make no mistake, justice will be done. President Obama promising to bring those who attacked our consulate to justice. So where's the justice? Retired Lieutenant General and Fox News military analyst Tom McInerney joins us. Good evening. How are you tonight? Very good, Judge. Well, uh, do you think that uh, we're going to get justice? No. <laughs> and, the, and the fact is, is uh, there'll be a lot of words about it. Uh, we could have taken him out. Uh, the leader out there who did this, uh, uh, Ahmed uh, Abu Qatali, if we wanted to. And, and the fact is, is he's, uh, he's there, but they have elected not to. Could have done it with a small team. You could do it with predators or reapers or with manned aircraft, precision weapons, but they have not yet elected to do it. All right, but, but General, um, you would think that it would be in the president's interest to get out there and, you know, make sure that there was justice, that there is uh, some kind of retaliation for the murder of four innocent Americans. I, uh, what, in your mind, are they thinking? Well, I think because they immediately went into a cover-up, and now they've added lies to it, and the reason there's a cover-up, because they have tried to allay the impression to the American people and the world that they have defeated al-Qaeda. There's no longer a radical Islamic threat. We're out of Iraq. We're coming out of Afghanistan. Major Nadal Hassan was not... Oh, yeah, that was, was workplace, workplace violence. violence. You yeah, see, they I love moved, that one. They've moved away that the radical Islam, al-Qaeda, is a threat. So if they now go and attack, it's better to have a long FBI investigation and oh, make it that's very ridiculous. thorough. As a military man, General, I mean, how did that strike you when you heard three weeks later, because it wasn't safe for them to go in earlier, and then I say to myself, excuse me for digressing here for a minute, now wait a minute, if it takes three weeks for the FBI to get in there, um, what about when you hear that we respond in 24 hours, we've got all of these, you know, covert teams that come in and help Americans, why weren't they sent in? They could have been in there the next day. We have teams that could have been there. They were not sent there because they want a very thorough, drawn-out investigation. What's to investigate? It's on videotape. We already know this guy, Katala, is having beers or mango drinks at some luxury hotel in Libya scoffing at Americans. I rest my case. Ray Zipsa, the thing speaks for itself. All right, let's move on from there. You're a general. Why would General Petraeus go with this narrative? Well, it's, it's very puzzling. Why would the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, why would the Secretary of Defense, every combatant commander throughout the world knew about this because it went out in cryptic traffic, it went out flash, because that's the way we Back operate up. now. You believe that everyone knew about this because it went out immediately? Absolutely. That's the way the system, as a matter of fact, they got a Predator drone there in the last hour or so, and so that meant that, uh, that people were aware and the military chain was in operation and things were going on. Look, they were talking in real time to the embassy in Tripoli. They were talking to uh, Stuttgart, Africa Command headquarters, and talking to the State Department. This automatically went to the National uh, So aren't you generals Center. infuriated? Absolutely. So why Petraeus? Is it, is, it, is it that cheap to get someone to lie about this? I'm a great fan of General Petraeus. And we all are, but what, just because he's got a presidential appointment, he's going to go with the song and dance about a video? That is what is puzzling to all of us. And we wondered why he has not come out, because he is a man of great integrity. And we're very worried about the others that have not come out. All right, quickly. There is talk of uh, 15, 20,000 surface-to-air missiles that were left over when the Gaddafi regime was overthrown, just, you know, all over the place in Libya. Um, how do we get those back? Do we well, get them? Uh, Not we're back. Working I don't on mean that. to say we're back. We're working on that, and that's a very good question. We're working on that, and that may have been something that was going on over there in an operation that went wrong. There's no question we're working on it, and I think we've been successful to some degree. But it is a very dangerous threat to us if we don't get control of them. Some have already reached Syria. All right. You hear about cars being packed with these surface-to-air missiles uh, that don't take much intelligence to uh, launch. General McInerney, it's always a pleasure to have you here in studio. Thanks, Judge. And coming up, you can see